Thank you, Michelle. Good evening, one and all. Two clubs have had the worst of times. Could these be the best of times? Both in the midst of an upturn. Luton, who have plenty of top flight history, were a non league side less than a decade ago. Sunderland resurgent after the most depressing period in their history. Wembley and possibly the Premier League. Jallo. Don't want him to allow him the latitude to cut inside onto his favourite foot. Alexandre. It's hit by Pritchard. Patterson pinned. Lockyer. And forced in! And Osho wheels away in triumph. It is precisely the start that Luton wanted. And again, precisely the situation Tony Mowbray feared. But they wouldn't cope with a set piece. It's happened again, and Luton in front on the night, on the night, and level in the tie. Oh, Sunderland can't panic, but it was always going to be a problem. No from play from set plays. Just the, the physical presence that the Luton players have. It's a quality match with 09 in their Equus feet. Oh, what a save by Orban! Well, he's saying handball, is he? They're adamant that it was handball. Nakamba, that could be very useful. Doughty! Well, Patrick Roberts is really fortunate that the cross doesn't pick out in the Luton centre forwards because Roberts is ball watching here. Of course, he's not a natural right back, he's played there before. We just get. Drama is blocked. They came together. Well, here's Clark and 09. Can he work an opening for that left foot? Roberts coming in to keep it alive. Patterson couldn't get a hold of it, Morris! Oh, and hooked away by Luco 9. Well, that could be a major moment. The fact that Luco 9, the redoubtable Luco 9, and Panzu set for it. Hume willing. It's Clark's delivery. It's Morris! Oh, and Patterson, heroic stuff! The camber, Drame. Lockyer, Whisker away. But Morris left frustrated as Anthony Patterson underlined his status as one of the giants for Morris. At a bayer. Well, it's a great challenge by Hugh. And he had to get it up. At a bayer in behind. Morris. Might turn it back. Well, that's a difficult chance because it's way beyond the near post, but it's so easy here for Adebayo to make the forward run. As Jack Clark, it's easy to defend. Clark. Oh, that's useful. And in! Lockyer! combination a quality delivery flat and pacey and then the attacking desire of Lockyer to get to this ball is out Jallo campaign last season largely because of logistics has made a crucial contribution to the Luton cause here but so too have two of their three centre backs Gabe Osho the most alive at a set piece opportunity to open the scoring and then Tom Lockyer Showing pure desire and a great stake by Patterson. Jordan Clark does not punish it to the full. Well, there's two errors there. Initially, Luke 09. So an air shot that nearly lets in Carlton Morris. Then the keeper. Jallo, neat feet, brilliant feet, and another corner. And after a nervous opening to the half, a bit more like it from Sunderland. They might get it back here, and he's done well! And Abayo had the opportunity. Clark, who set his sights here. Santa. Oh, and Clark was up there at that near post. 
magnificent delivery again from, from Doughty. Flat pacing, helps on at the near post. Info 9 unhappy. Elijah Adebayo. And Lee Swinning got the ball. Simon Hooper keeping as close an eye on it as possible. The opportunities to kill the tie off are coming and going. The loop is the lethal one. It's a dazzling run from Patrick Roberts. He's saying deflection, but he's not getting what he wants in that regard. Pace and the players to get in behind him. Gauti betwixt. Take aim. There's Sight Huggins with him on that flank. Potential to seal the matter, and Adebayo has passed up an opportunity that is not quite as glaring as some of the others, but an opportunity nonetheless. So that just went to, to sleep expecting the, the ball into the box, they play it short. Ah. Could there yet be a twist? It's Osho away. Well, you're playing what you've got in there. Doughty! A little bit of space has opened up. An advertising board rather than the back of the net. They had options in the penalty area, Mishu in particular. And Cody Drame has not made the most of it. Why is he not just trying with the ball and squaring it? What on earth is he doing? He's trying to score himself. Less than a decade ago, they were a non-league club. In less than a fortnight, they may be a Premier League. ألم يتقال نادي مانشستر سيتي عن آمالي في إمكانية تشكيل عقد اللاعب إيرك بوندوغان رغم التكهنات المستمرة حول مستقبله ورحيله المحتمل إلى صفوف برشلونة ومن المقرر أن يتخذ العقد الحالي للاعب الألماني مع حمل لقب الدوري الإنجليزي الممتاز في يونيو المقبل أي نهاية الموسم الحالي ولا يوجد أي اتفاق حتى وقتنا هذا بين مسؤولي مانشستر سيتي وبوندوغان فيما يتعلق بتجديد عقده وتسبب ذلك في انتشار تكهنات حول مستقبل بوندوغان خاصة مع رغبة برشلونة في الحصول على خدماته مع العلم أن هناك تقارير تشير إلى وجود رغبة مماثلة لدى اللاعب ولكن شبكة إسبان العالمية ذكرت أن مانشستر سيتي لم يفقد الأمان في إمكانية التوصل إلى اتفاق مع بوندوغان حول تبديل إقامته في ملعب الاتحاد وأوضحت أن مانشستر سيتي لم يبلغ حتى الآن بأن بوندوغان يانو الرحيم في صيف هذا العام. وأشرت إلى أن إدارة سكاي بلو ترغب في بقاء صاحب 32 عاما لموسم آخر على الأقل. وأفادت أن مصادر مقاربة من بوندوغان أصرت على أن الأخير يركز على إنهاء موسمه مع مانشستر سيتي وسيتخذ قرار بشأن مستقبله فقط بنهاية الموسم. ويلعب بوندوغان دورا حازما مع مانشستر سيتي في الموسم الحالي وكان اخر ما قدمه في مباراه ضد ايفرتون حيث سجل هدفين وصنع هدفا 